What's going on, YouTube? Splice Citrus here, back with another Genshin Impact video. And today, we're going to be doing some Wind Trace. Now, Wind Trace, the event is almost over, so I'm sure you already know what it is, but in case you don't, Wind Trace is basically a multiplayer hide and seek. Three players hide, one player finds, and that's about it. You get this small little section of a map. Uh, and then the hunter gets locked in position. However, they can see everything going on around them. Um, and then uh, the hiders can turn into a couple of different objects to try to blend into the environment. And the hunter runs around. And each side, hunters and seekers, or hunters and uh, hiders, each have different abilities to try to make their job easier. But today, rather than playing this game like normal, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to try to be as obvious as possible and see what kind of, uh, see what we can get away with. We're going to just hopefully get a map. Oh, I didn't want this one, but this one... There's really not a lot of NPCs or anything like that to be able to just blend in. So, for this one, I'm going to show you all just how overpowered Mona is in this uh, game type. Oh, I am a hunter though, so... Mona is super overpowered when it comes to hiding for the simple fact that you can just hold shift and you're completely hidden from sight obviously you've got this uh water and bubble animation going on but uh if you can strategically place that animation to make it as inconspicuous as possible i've had uh, multiple matches already where uh, the hunter would run straight past me and not even think twice so, Mona, if you've got her, super overpowered. Absolutely fantastic character to play in this game. Game type. But the map that I was hoping for, I was kind of hoping to get the um, uh, Dawn Winery. Because... Uh, That one has some tables and stuff that I can sit at, and I was hoping to play as Zhang Li. But, I digress. This one will do fine. Oh, where are those sneaky little buggers at? I got two of them so far. They're not off to a great start. Oh boy. So how do y'all feel about this uh, this game type? Do you uh, love it? You hate it? Do you think it's fun? Would you like to see more stuff like this in the future? Do you think MiHoYo should just not do anything like this ever again? Do you hate it? I actually kind of enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to like it at first, but it's growing on me. Oh, favor! Dang it. That's the one thing I hate about Mona. When you're holding her shift, her sprint, it makes it very difficult to um, fall off of edges and stuff. Oh, Kaya. You're in for it now. Gotcha. Alright. I win that one.
One small complaint I have about this game type, though, is the currency. I don't know why they call them coins. You can't spend them. They should just be called points. I've tried looking all over the place for a win for a uh, event store that I can spend my win trace coins at. It doesn't exist. Well, I'm capped on coins, but we'll keep going. We'll see if we can uh, get a favorable map where we can see if we can do some funny hijinks. See if we can hide in plain sight. I absolutely love these dark mode loading screens. And here we go. Dawn Winery. Zhong Li. Pick Zhong Li. Ready up. <clears throat> this is actually only the second time I've actually been able to get this map. Oh, let's see here. Ah, oh, crap. I think I'll be pretty noticeable when I've got this buff going on. So, instead... That's why I took my pet off. Because uh, I knew the pet would make it too obvious. Here we go. I'm going to show you a little secret. Right down here. You are completely invisible from sight. <laughs> now, unless the hunter knows about this trick, I should pretty much guarantee a win here. It's right down here at the edge of the map. You just go in between these two uh, vine growing fences things. And you just walk in between them, turn into your lamp, and slide right underneath the dirt. So, unless the hunter just yeah happens to know about this little secret, or uh, is just running around the uh, vineyards, just mashing that E button, he shouldn't find me in this, uh, this location. It's pretty sneaky. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Hunter. See what you got. Looks like he's got one of us already. And I'm pretty sure Bennett sat at that table with me. So, at least I know the uh, this particular hunter is uh, rather vigilant. Although, uh, I wouldn't say Bennett's character blends in the best kind of sticks out like a sore thumb his whole getup is just really over the top a lot of random colors and pieces it looks like he looks like he takes a looks like he takes a uh, trinket from every adventure he goes on and just uh Attaches it to his clothing somehow. Oh crap, now it's on. Oh. This favor is the absolute cheapest favor in this game. Absolutely hate it. It is an absolute get out of jail free card. Kaya, what are you doing, man? I 
can't believe he got... No, he did get caught. <laughs> you ran right next to her. What were you thinking? I mean, sheesh. I think I'll be fine, though. This actually looks pretty uh, inconspicuous, this sole little lamp on a wagon. Yeah, we've got this one in the bag. All right. I mean, I don't get any more coins for it, but still fun. I think it's a, a fun game type. Look at all those coins I don't get to spend. Ridiculous. Lately, I've noticed ever since um, 1.6 came out, I don't play on mobile very often, but I do have the game on mobile just so I can play it uh, as needed. But lately, every time I log into the uh, mobile version, it sets my uh, world join multiplayer preference to automatic. And it took me by surprise big time because I uh, all of a sudden got a loading screen and next thing I know there's some random character jumping next to me and I panicked and I quickly booted him out and changed my uh, preference back to uh, approval but um, yeah kind of annoying I don't know if anybody else has experienced this phenomenon but I know uh, I'm not particularly fond of it another one I've experienced is the uh, so I've been doing the world events the 10 world events every day to try to get my companionship level up and there is a companion quest world event mission thing where you have to rescue Palad or Alan, either of the two. And if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that there's a teleport waypoint that you can just teleport to. And it'll basically trigger a world event every single time. And once you complete said world event, you just, oh man, I thought he was going to get me for sure. He was standing right on top of me. I figured he knew the secret. Woo! Anyway. So, directly to the east of that teleport waypoint, occasionally a world event will spawn in which you have to re rescue Alan or Pallad near a fruit bearing tree in the exact same location where like uh, Dr. Livingstone spawns in that area for her uh, little world event quest and lately I've been encountering this this glitch or this bug ever since 1.6 came out in which when that Palad event spawns the mobs are invisible and they aren't attacking him and I can't attack them so I can't complete it but you can see uh, via the indentations in the grass that the mobs are there they're in the game they just aren't physical entities you can't see them you can't hurt them you can't do anything to them and there's nothing you can do about it because eventually the world event just despawns and there's nothing you can do you have to log back out log back in and then spawn a new world event kind of a pain in the butt not particularly fond of that so that in uh, conjunction with the auto join multiplayer when logging into mobile it's probably the uh, the buggiest release I've seen yet and I've been playing since uh, launch day but then again I don't go out of my way to find bugs or anything like that so other bugs may exist, they may be uh, more obvious, more prominent, but I've never 
had that issue. So let's see. Is this hunter going to grab this favor or is he just going to hang out nearby hoping one of us grabs it? Oh, he's got the other two. Is he just guarding it, hoping uh, I come and try to get it? He knows I can see him on the minimap, right? It's like, it's it's pretty blatantly obvious. Is it going to be that uh, giveaway one again? Yep, there it is. Fantastic. Gosh. What a crock. That favor is just such a ripoff. That's why being the hunter is the easiest job in this in this game. In this game type. The hunter always gets the favor. Because if you've got a good hiding spot, you're not gonna give it up and make yourself known. to try and go grab it so what do I gotta like take this take these artifacts off to get rid of that buff what's what's giving me that buff that's causing nope it's my weapon Probably my weapon. I'd have to imagine. Nope. Well, what is it? You gotta be kidding me. I switched it. Oh, did I not click switch? Switch? <laughs> yep, there it goes. Okay. Can we get the Dawn Winery again? Because I'd really like to uh, just sit at a table and see if they find me. See if they realize what's going on. Oh, we do get it again. But I'm the hunter this time. So I guess it really doesn't matter who I play as. You know, I thought I was going to be uh, cheap and petty and use Venti the first time I uh, played this map. And I was going to use his, uh, hold his E to gust up onto the top of the uh, Dawn Winery there. However, that doesn't work because your E turns into um, your disguise ability. So, it doesn't work out like that. But we'll see if I uh, eat my words or not on this one. See if it actually is easier or not to play as the hunter. Looks like we got Zhang Li going off in the distance there. There's Mona. Where's Mona going? I see you. Oh, wait, what? So she just disappeared out of sight out of nowhere. Kind of weird. This Diona's really struggling. The Dawn Winery's wines are all I suppose I'm gonna go see uh, if Mona knows about that spot. Nope, she don't. Oh, man. Let's see. All right, then. Well, nobody's nobody here is sitting at any tables. <clears throat> I 
Let's see. Where could they be? Holy cow, steep roof. Scry the sky. The drawn winery wines are old. Well, that's not bad. Wow, two minutes or one minute in and it's already favor time apparently that barrel looked seriously conspicuous with rain this heavy not only are the stars clouded so too is my spry glass hazy this map is definitely one of the hardest though these uh, rotten leaves Oh, there's Zhong Li. Or okay. Yeah, good one. What a waste of a favor though. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Huh. Interesting. Oh, goodness gracious. Nope. Maybe I just don't have the experience with this. I thought I did. Because I thought the lamps lit up because the last two times we just played this map as the, uh, the hider... Or the rebel. My lamp was lit up. So I figured... None of these lamps that are not lit... Can't be it, right? Doesn't seem to be the case, though. Unless everybody's just hiding as a barrel. There we have it. Playing as a hunter isn't as easy as it seems. loading screens I guess they're not really loading screens they're just informational screens they last a little too long it's kind of annoying too you gotta go back to this just to spy, uh, start up another round it's kind of annoying What they uh, should have done is they should have just made a lobby where if you're interested in playing Wind Trace, you go into a lobby and then you can start a uh, game with some random players. And that way, when you back out of playing, you go back into that lobby instead of having to load back into your world again. And I wish you could click through those informational screens at the end, like, this is the award you got, and this is the number of coins you get. Rather than being forced to sit through them for the five seconds or whatever. Let my stamina regen. So what I'm going to do here is I am not going to put on a disguise. Oh, there's DeLuke. He's going to go climb the... Uh, the windmill that is so cliche and you've got your pet out that's a bad idea folks if you've got your pet out during this that's a bad idea because your pet I'm pretty sure still hovers even after you put your disguise on I 
I guess I don't remember for sure, though. Maybe maybe Mahoyo was smart enough to take the pet out when you put your disguise on. I do know if you're trying to hide in plain sight without a disguise, like DeLuke is doing right there. Obviously, you can tell his pet's hanging out. So if you were to stand by uh, some NPCs, try to blend in that way, or uh, sit at a table, whatever, just to make it look like you're an NPC, your pet is going to give you away. So here I'm just holding down the shift key. And it's causing Mona to go underground, it's causing this little bubbling animation, and I will guarantee I will not get found unless the hunter grabs a favor that exposes my location with a large blue beam. Yep, there's the favor. Go get it, hunter. You know you want it. Ain't nobody else gonna grab it. Oh. Hold the phone. Oh. He's gonna get him. Yep. That's why you don't try to grab the favor as a rebel. Because you give away your location. Is he gonna see me? He's running the other way. He's only got 20 seconds of this light beam. Is Deluke still on the tower? I can't tell. I don't think he's going to see my beam this time. Nope. Nope. I don't think so. He seems pretty fixated over there. I wonder if Deluke flew down from the, uh, the windmill and is hiding on top of a building over there or in a tree. But with that being said, I will right now guarantee my victory. I have hidden this spot a few times already as Mona, and uh, the only time I've ever gotten caught here was when the hunter had that light beam favor. There's Razor again. Especially if players don't have Mona. And they don't know that she does this. And they don't know the animation. When she's under the ground like this. It is super inconspicuous. Like. If I never had Mona. And I saw this little bubbling water going on in this corner. I wouldn't have thought anything of it. Even if I was standing right on top of it. Like what the heck is this? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. That's what makes Mona so strong in this game type. But anyways, to keep this video from running any longer, we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Unfortunately, I uh, wasn't lucky enough to get that uh, Dawn Winery with Zhang Li. Uh, well, we did once, but... Um, I didn't take that uh, buff off, so it makes you uh, kind of stick out like a sore thumb. But anyway, down in the comments, let me know what you guys think of Win Trace. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to see more events like this in the future? Um, as far as I'm concerned, Win Trace itself could definitely make a comeback. I'd like to see it again. However, with that being said, this is the first real PvP. Uh, in a sense, uh, game type where it's actually full on uh, competitive ish multiplayer. I do not want to see an actual, like, traditional PvP experience. I don't want to go into an arena with three, two, or one other player and hash it out. Unless, unless you are given a set Join me. character like if there's just a pool of characters and they're equipped a very specific way and you can't change anything about them and then you can go into an arena and hash it out fine 
I keep watch. But even then, honestly, it sounds like it would be a nightmare. I just don't think an actual PvP style system would work very well. And furthermore, like I said, if you don't have that pool of uh, predetermined characters and items, if they allow you to use your own characters at your own power level, it's just going to cause a divide in the uh, Genshin Impact community, I feel. Because it's going to turn the community toxic. And you're going to have players who get super egotistical. And they're going to start talking poorly on other players and so on and so forth. It just, it just wouldn't be a fun atmosphere. It wouldn't be fair. And like I said, it would definitely cause a divide. And that's uh, a, a very good reason, too, why I do not ever hope to see a DPS counter for domains, for co-op domains or any other co-op activity for that matter. Sometimes we get some events, particularly like with Dragonspine, we had a co-op event where we had to fight an enhanced version of a Cryo Regisvine. I hope to never see a DPS counter in any co-op style event. Even if it's just you have a friend to join your world and you're taking out world bosses in, in your game. Um, don't bring DPS counters, please. I don't think it's even on MiHoYo's radar, but like I said, all that's going to do is create a divide. It's going to push other players out. It's going to cause people to be toxic because there's going to be those elite top tier players who feel like they're better than everybody else. And if you're not pulling a certain number of DPS that are going to boot you out of the party and not let you hang out and farm domains back to back, etc., etc. But anyway, like I said... Fire off in the comments below. How do you feel about Wind Trace? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you for the next one.